Yo guys, what is up, this is Nick. We are back on Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. We are technically only 20% through this series. Really? And 44%. A whopping 4% through the whole campaigns. Aw, yeah. But let's see here. So, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... 13, 14, 15, so 15 more. How many have we done? One, two, I guess I can't count the ones in gold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. So I've done ten, and there are 15 more to go. All right, so dual identity. Uh, looks like we will actually get to do some Battle City coming up. Because uh, that looks like the rare hunter. That's uh, Arcana. That's we. That's Weevil Joey. There's the mime. There's is that Bakura? It's really hard to tell. I think that's Bakura. Then that's uh, what's his name? Odeon. That's a Shizu. That's Kaiba Yugi. That's Kaiba or that's Yugi Merrick, and then that's Yugi Yugi to like end the whole thing. It's like they skip a bunch of seasons. I don't know if we'll get those eventually or not but it's kind of weird because it jumps from battle city the end of battle city to the end of the final season so that's kind of weird to me that they did that but i guess it's whatever okay let's do dual identity let me stop talking about other stuff okay the time had come for the duelist kingdom tournament finals and yugi and joey were more than ready i sure hope i'm doing the right thing and deciding to duel again but with grandpa's soul at stake i have to Yugi and Joey walked to the arena and met with the other two, with the two other finalists, Mai and Bandit Keith. Bandit Keith had cheated his way into the finals and had no plans to stop. Yugi, Joey, Mai, and Bandit Keith, I welcome all of you to the playoff arena. Here is where the last great duel monsters duels shall be waged to determine the championship of the duels kingdom. Only one of you shall emerge victorious. Only one of you shall win the $3 million prize. And of course, the victor in the playoffs shall also earn the right to challenge me in the final match. The victor will be granted one request, whatever his or her heart most desires. And if it is within my vast power to do so, their wish will be granted. Uh, the victor will also be declared the Undisputed Duelist Kingdom Champion, ranked number one in the world. And boys, that'll be me. Surely, any duelist that has come this far must realize that the title and not the money is the real prize. Is that not so? You're a regular comedian. The money's all I need for my sister's operation. You need three million dollars for your sister's operation? What operation is three million dollars? I, I, is there one? Like, complete body replacement? Like, is that... that might not even be three million dollars. I think without insurance, when I was when I got my ankle completely re, or my foot restructured, re, reconstructed with thirteen screws and a plate, if I didn't have insurance, I think it was only like four, like three hundred fifty thousand or something like that. By the time you get done with therapy and all that, it's like three hundred fifty thousand. How are you gonna get the three million with her eyes? Her eyes are cheaper. I don't know why he needs three million dollars. Uh. <laughs> Okay, enough of me questioning this game and the prize money. Yes, yes, I'm sure some of you have a riding, have more riding on this tournament than others. Right, Yugi? You've got my grandpa's soul and Mokuba and even Seto Kaiba captive, but I'll find a way to defeat you and save them all. Their first semi-final match was Yugi versus Mai. Although Mai was now friends with Yugi, she was playing to win. I used to think the only person a duelist could trust was herself. Everyone else was just an opponent. Then I met Yugi, and I learned through him that even the strongest opponents in the arena could still be friends outside it. If he did, hadn't loaned me his star chips, I might have made, I might never have made it to the final round. I owe him a very great debt. I promised Yugi an honorable duel, and that's just what I'm going to give him. But if he thinks that means I'm not going to battle all out, he's dreaming. I'm going to give this match everything I've got, so when Yugi goes down, it'll be a victory I can be proud of. I promised him an honorable duel, not an easy one. Alright, so, I better have Black Luster Soldier in this deck. I better have Black Luster Soldier. Because I want to I wanna drop that. So, you know, this will be kind of interesting for me. Um, not this. 
I've watched probably the... I've watched the original Yu-Gi-Oh! series probably... If you ever... Okay, so there's like five total seasons. There's technically, in my opinion, seven. If you think about it, there's really seven, but they combined them into five. Uh, and so... Probably through those five se Probably... I probably watched... Like... There's Black Luster Ritual. Beautiful. This hand is not very good, but... I got Black Luster Ritual. What fusion monster do I have? Uh, Guy of the Dragon Champion. Okay, end my turn. But I've probably seen the full seasons if you combine, because sometimes there are certain episodes that I really like that I've watched multiple times. Um, so it's something like probably like four. Or f I probably on average watch each season like four or five times. I've watched the first, the second, the most. Because those are my favorite. I like those the most. What card effect could I activate? Mystical Spade Typhoon? What does Harpy's Hunting Around do? Other than drop a... Oh my gosh. The player who conducted the summon targets one spell or trap card on the field and destroys that card. Um... Yeah. I want to get rid of that. Brain controls for a limited time, isn't it? Yeah, that's until the end of the turn, so... That's not really gonna help me. Well, it could help me, but I think I have a better use for that later. And then, like, the... And then, like, GX, I really only like the first season. So I probably watched the first season of that like two or three times, or maybe three or four times, and then the other seasons of that maybe twice. Uh, and then 5Ds, I probably watch each season twice, and then not much, I haven't watched like any Zexel, so let's keep that in mind, I guess. So we're just setting Mystical Elves right now, there's nothing else I can do. I guess I can set this stuff. I could take control of the Harpy's Pet Dragon and get some damage, but I really want to draw a Blackluster Soldier so that I can just sacrifice it. Oh no. Okay, well, at this point it's alright because I don't have to worry about... Okay, we're getting despelled. No! Son of a... Son of a mofo, dude! Dude, uh... Watch, I'll probably draw a Blackluster Soldier right here. Nope, Summon Skull. Will work just as good. Okay, give me your... Give me your Harpy's Pet Dragon. And you already used your Monster Reborn to bring back even, Harpy's Channeler, so that was a grave mistake because Summon Skull's gonna wreak havoc on your Harpies. But Z the Zexel, I really only watched bits and pieces of the first season of that, and um, I didn't, I haven't watched any of Arc, Arc V because it just doesn't look that interesting to me. Oh, I rhymed! Naha, naha, I rhymed without even trying. Okay, so I can't do much because I don't want to switch Mystical Elf into attack because I don't want to lose her as a monster. Hey, look at that. Giant Soldier of Stone. I still want to- I want to set him, but I won't. I won't. Even though I should. If it's a Harpy Lady, then this attack won't work with him, so I'm not gonna... Yep, see, that would See, I get an extra 1300 damage because I used my brain. I guess I could have had 1600 more damage if I would have been attacking with him. But Mr. Wells would have gotten killed because he would have... She would have summoned something to actually attack. Okay. Oh, God. Well, that's special. Okay, guess... Is it Monster Reborn? I think it's Monster Reborn time. I think it's Harpy's Pet Dragon time for my side of the field. Yep, we're gonna bring Harpy's Pet Dragon back. Bring, bring it out in attack mode. We are at an impasse, though, because... 
I can't destroy that Harpy's pet dragon. So we have reached an impasse in this duel. We've got a Harpy's pet dragon on the field that I can't beat. Okay, I don't really get the point of that. The heck was the point of that? Other than to let me kill your monster. Thank you, I guess. I want to set Karibo for now. I want to set him. I want to get him out there. But that was stupid. I don't really know what the logic was behind that. By my... I really can't figure out the logic behind that because that's pretty much GG now. If, he, if she would have left that Harpy's Pet Dragon in defense mode, I wouldn't have been able to destroy it. She could have set up and then just absolutely molest my ass with a with a with a harpy's uh, lady sisters uh, souped up she would have just destroyed me but instead summon skull and this buddy there we go after that struggle with kaiba i'm happy i didn't struggle here wait my there's something i want to say to you huh Thank you. You said a duelist can learn more from defeat than victory, and you were correct. But you, my, you taught me a lot today. I had to confront my own fears and weaknesses, or I could have never defeated you. It's awfully nice of you to say that, but it seems to me I also still have a lot more to learn. About dueling and about myself. But then, I suppose no duelist ever learns all there is to know. And maybe the most important lesson is that defeat doesn't have to be for forever. You won this duel, Yugi. But there's, there'll be others. You and I will meet in the arena again, kiddo. And when we do, you better watch out. They don't ever duel again in the series, do they? I don't even think they ever duel again. I don't think they ever duel again. Okay, so we got, we got the new campaign mission or duel, uh, key some machination, machinations, machine nations. It's just a weird way to say. It. Harpy Lady 1 deck for my Sign of the Harpy Challenge deck. Uh, new booster pack, Yugi. Signature award card, Harpy's Pet Dragon. Harpy's Hunting Ground and Harpy's Queen. Nice. It's actually really helpful for that deck. Okay, so let's go open up some of these packs. We got some more points, so now we can buy this Yugi pack. Let's see, what are we looking at in this Ooh, Dark Sage, Dark Magic. Wow, this is actually a really good pack. I like these cards. This is a nice pack here. But I'm really looking for Dark Magician Girl, which is my favorite card. That's like a cliche favorite card, but I guess, I don't know what else to say. Um, alright, not bad. Not bad, got the Magnet Warriors going on, so not bad. More Magnet Warriors, Knight's Title, Curry Bandit, nice. Ooh, the Guardian cards are in here. Ooh, this Yugi's pack is pretty sweet. Dragon Master Knight, Dark Va Oh, there it is! Pull Dark Magician Girl, nice. I'm, I'm happy with that, because I'm gonna- I'll throw her into my Harpy's deck. Uh, but dude, I'm happy about that pull. So this, this pack has been really good to me so far. I'm happy with like every card I'm pulling. I'd like to see some uh, some Guardian card. There's a Guardian Elma. Guardian Elma there, so that's cool. This, this These packs are pretty cool. I'm, I'm liking this Yuki pack. Raw's Disciple, Mirage Knight, Exod, Master of the Guard. These are really, I really like these cards in this pack. Uh, Celtic Guardian. Oh, Finian. Okay, so we got the... Okay. These first cars are gonna be... Or these first packs are gonna be my... My, my, my shit. The, uh... These first six packs. Because I'm really into the older cards. More than the newer ones. Oh, this is a good pack. Thousand Knives. Breaker. Nice. Uh, Yujo Friendship, not bad. Emblem of Dragon Destroyer, beautiful. That's a good pack. I think I'll go down to ten thousand with this because I'm really, I'm oh Ice Queen. I like Ice Queen as a card. She's really not that great, but I do like her card. Fire Sorcerer. All right, so that's not bad. 
More Thousand Knives. Okay, wow, there are a lot of different cards in here. You got, now you have the uh, Elementals, Song of the Thunder, Suijin, Kazujin, Assuming Gate Guardian. Alright, this pack was a little, oh, nope, I was about to say this pack was a little weak, and then I pulled Dark Magician of Chaos. Um, this, I wanted this card forever when I was younger, uh, but I could never get it. It was a decently expensive card even then when I was younger, when it first came out. Uh, and then I bought an Invasion of Chaos loose lot of cards. Legendary Knights are in this as well. These are, this final pack is beautiful. This has, like, cards that I like in it. Judgment of the Pharaoh, nice. Another Dark Magician girl, beautiful. Happy with that. Skilled Blue Magician. I can make a nice little Magician deck now. Let me open up a few more of these. Let's go down to 9,000. We'll go down to 9,000 and then I'll call it on opening these. Okay, that's not that great. Magic Formula is good. Yeah, Magic Formula is good. What am I talking about? I want that. Need that for my... Millennium Shield, not bad. I kind of like Millennium Shield. Um, Magicians Unite is pretty good. Tricky Spell 4 is not bad. Alright, final pack. This was a nice unlock here. I'm really happy with everything I pulled. Oh, okay! I've got three Dark Magician Girls now, so I'm happy with that. Um, I need to get some more Dark Magicians, I think, and some more Dark Magicians of Chaos, but that's good. I'm happy with that. Uh, maybe... Maybe I'll, um... I'll get this... I'll get my own deck set up eventually here. Um, I don't know exactly when I'm going to do it. Um, I'll probably finish this whole entire first season's kind of uh, campaign first, and then I'll probably make my deck. But it's time. Keith Mash... I don't know how to say that. How do you say that? Machinations? Machinations? I'm trying to think. Like, I'm assuming the first part, the M A. M-A-C-H-I-N is Machines. Okay, so it's Machine, but is it Machine Nations? Like, that doesn't sound right. That just doesn't sound right. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. The second semifinal match was Joey versus Bandit Keith. In order to complete compete in the duel, each contestant had to present his tourney, tournament entry card, which Joey shockingly did not have. Unknown to Joey, Bandit Keith stole Joey's entry card the night before. Per the rules of the tournament, Joey was granted five minutes to find his card or be disqualified. Joey searched everywhere but was unable to find it. On his way back to the arena, he broke down in the hallway. Sorry, sis, I came close. Real close. Get up off the floor, Joey, and quit all your crying already. You look like a big baby. Who's crying? I got something in my eyes. Stupid thing won't come out. Mai handed him her handkerchief. Here, just don't go blowing your nose in it. You know, every time I think I've got you figured, you surprise me. Huh? Taya told me about your little sister, how you're dueling to win, this, win the tournament's prize money for her so she can have that operation. Sound like a bad soap opera, to be honest, but then, who doesn't love a bad soap opera? Anyway, see you around, hun. As Mai walked away, Joey noticed she had hidden her tournament entry card in the handkerchief. Wait, Mai! Take it. I don't need it anymore. One thing, though. Huh? Take Bandit Keith down. Joey ran back to the arena. So the punks come to give us the bad news, huh? Let me guess. You couldn't find that card anywhere. What do you think? What are you, what are you talking about? I got it right here. All right, Keith. Time to duel. Fine. You know, part of me wanted you to show up. A nice little warm-up match might do me some good. I'll warm you up and wear you out. Tell me how it feels to be an amateur going up against the Intercontinental Dueling ch Dueling Champ. What a title! What, like, what if that was someone's actual title? Uh, yeah, I'm the Intercontinental Federal Officer. Like, what, Intercontinental? Yeah, let's just use Intercontinental in a title. Who, like, who would name you that? You're the Intercontinental Dueling Champ. Why aren't you just, you know what? I'm just. Ooh, the Intercontinental Championship. I can win a better prize than that in a box of cereal. See? See? Punk, I'll teach you to respect my title. No one respects that title. No one respects that title. I'm dropping red eyes on him. I'm dropping red eyes and time machine. So Keith is not to be if if he has a simul if if he has a comparable deck to what he had in the show, then He's no slouch here on this. That he's got that barrel dragon. He's got some nice cards, so can't take this duel actually lightly. But I did pull Metal Morph to start with. Protect.
protector of the throne is not bad. Um, I'm gonna start out with her in defense mode. And I'm actually gonna pop, I'm gonna pop Mystical Space Typhoon. I'm gonna take out what he said. He set one card, what is it? What is that? Birthright. Um, that's not bad to get rid of. Not like the greatest trade of what I could have gotten rid of, but not not bad. I do like Joey has a lot of fusions. Should be. T What's his? What is the card that I'm not thinking? Oh, oh, Protector of the Throne and Guardian of the Labyrinth make Giltia. So he's got Flame Swordsman's Giltia and Thousand Dragon. Um. Alright, Keith, I'll play this game with you. For now, I'm just gonna set some cards in defense mode. Let him make let him make the first move. Come on. Okay, Keith. What are you doing? What is he trying to do here? I'm gonna throw Time Wizard into defense mode now. I've got a polymerization in my hand, so I'm just sitting on it. Keith. What are we doing here? This is the mo- Well, Keith. Well, Keithy, my boy, it was fun, but I'm gonna drop this red eyes on you next turn. So you better be prepared. I'm about to drop this metal morph red eyes on you. Keith, what on earth are you doing? Keith, I'm sick of this. I don't want to get screwed and have my red eyes get effed. No. I can Metal Morph. <laughs> oh, that'd be the biggest waste of a Metal Morph ever. Okay, Keith, what did you want to activate? Okay, I don't know what Keith is doing. I don't know what Keith is smoking. This is the weirdest duel of my life. What is he doing? Keith, what on earth are you doing? Are you gonna play something? Keith. Keith, what are you doing? What is he smoking? Keith, I don't know what you're smoking, bud, but I'll bring out Giltia. Bring out Giltia. Alright, so I don't know what Keith, I don't know what Bandy Keith is smoking out here, but this will work. I don't know what he's doing. I'm not going to drop my red eyes yet, because I don't know what he's planning. I don't know what Bandit Keith is, is on. What is he- I don't know the logic behind what he's doing here, dude. I've got him under half health, like, half his life points are already gone, Keith. What are you doing, buddy? Keith. Keith. What drugs are you on? Oh, oh, Swing of Memories. It's time for Swing of Memories. He's bringing back Launcher Spire. See, oh god, now he's summoning Machine King. Oh, what the heck is he doing? Wait, 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 wait. What is he smoking? Oh, he's got Metal Morph. Hey, guess what? I got Metal Morph too. He thought, he thought he was going to be sneaky with his Metal Morph. What on earth just happened there? What on earth? What on earth did just happened? What on, what on earth? Well, I got Sekiretsu's armor, so... So that'll do fine. Sekiretsu's armor will do the job for me. Oh yeah, do your little stop defense, Keith. Yeah, suck on this. Goodbye. Okay, I'm just gonna drop my red eyes. I ain't messing around anymore. Could have done more damage, actually, probably not dropping red eyes, but that's alright. I'm dropping red eyes. I have to kick Bandit Keith's ass with red eyes. Oh, 
What you doing, Keith? Keith, this is the most wacky... This is the wackiest duel I've ever had in my life. I don't even know what's going on anymore. I'm so confused in so many ways. What are you doing, Keith? Alright, Keith, is this just GG? Okay, that's the weirdest duel I've ever had in my life. I don't know what, I don't know what that was. No way, he beat me? This duel doesn't count. The entry card that Joey showed it to play in this match wasn't even his. Therefore, the duel shouldn't count, and he ought to be disqualified right here. He's right, my card was missing, so Mai gave me hers. But tell me, Keith, how could you have known that this wasn't my card? Uh, I'm all ears, so why don't you explain yourself? He doesn't need to. It's clear that Keith stole Joey's card. That's why he was so certain that you would never be able to find it. Take the scoundrel away. Far away. No! Okay, best friends, best duelists. Unlock. Keith's... You know, that word that I don't know how to say. Bandit Keith. Avatar. Bandit Keith. Armored Metal Zoa. I actually like that deck. So we got Sword... We didn't even get Zoa, though. I guess his signature card is Slot Machine, but I feel like we should have gotten Zoa and Metal Zoa. That's crappy Duel Points award. Okay, so we're going to do Best Friends, Best of Duelists in this episode. Let's go ahead and just hop into this. Uh, with Joey winning against Bandit Keith, it was now time for the final duel of the turn. No, it wasn't. So Still got a duel Pegasus. It was Joey versus Yuki. Best friends both dueling for great causes. Thinking, I have to win this match so that I can duel Pegasus and save my grandpa. But to get the Pegasus, I have to beat my best friend Joey. I have to win this for my sister Serenity. Yug, I hope you don't have any second thoughts about dueling me. I'm sorry, Joey, but I don't know if I can do this. Suck it up, Yugi. You said it yourself that if it came down to us, we'd both just play our best and most honorable duel. That's the only way we're going to really know which one of us is best prepared to take on Pegasus in the final match, so let's duel. Okay, maybe Joey is right. I may not want to do this, but still, it has to be done if we want to beat Pegasus. What do you say, Yug? Let's do this thing. Alright, Joey, time to duel. Alright, story deck. Blue Flame Swordsman getting shown here. It's kind of actually pretty. That was a that was a good card to show for this. Okay, I'm going second. I'm about to drop Dark Magicians just all over you, Joey. Joey, you're just about to get slapped with the Dark Magicians. Or I'll just hit you with a red. What does this even mean? Why do I have a red eyes? Why do I have a red eyes? Yeah, mock you, the magical misc. <laughs> Strong. Really? That's how mock you the works? Is that the real effect? Ooh, I forgot about Black Skull Dragon. I forgot about Black Skull Dragon. Yeah, let's summon Griffor. Yeah, let's drop red eyes. It's red eyes time. Dude, if I can draw a summon skull, dude, this is gonna be this is gonna be one fun duel. Joey has some crappy monsters, so this should be easy. And that's sweet that they Red Eyes got one of those two, a little cutscene when he attacks a monster. Alright, attack Joey directly. Joey, you better get something out there pretty quick, bud, or this ain't gonna be fun. This is just gonna be GG real quick, like duel against Bandit Keith. The duel against Bandit Keith was a joke. What was the point of that? Oh look, would ya would ya looky here? Would ya looky here? Summon skull. Oh. Well, it's time to bring out Black Skull Dragon. Joey better do something here, or I'm gonna sweep him real quick. There we go. Got that Black Skull Dragon out. Nice and early. The the luck is real. Now the only thing that could do this even better would be if I drew Palmerization next turn and then Gaia the Fierce Knight afterwards. That would that would just be insane. Okay, or we can draw Feraland. That's fine. He'll work. He'll do. Can he destroy this monster? No. Dang it. Dang it. Okay, whatever. And then my turn. 
What's he gonna do? Oh, he's just gonna set another monster. Alright, Joey. Oh my gosh, and now I draw a Dark Magician. If only I could get him on the field. There's no way for me to get him on the field. Let's go ahead. Curse Dragon. Take out Baby Dragon. And now Black Skull Dragon hit him directly. Only 400 life points left, Joey. Poor Joey. Nope, he's set the card. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. The luck is real. Yep, let's drop the Dark Magician. <laughs> oh, this is so... This was so ridiculously easy. Unless he's got something there to absolutely just drop me. But he doesn't, so... Dark Magician's gonna take out his... His poor baby dragon. Or no, wait, what was that? Oh, Protector of the Throne. Alright, then Black Skull Dragon and this duel. That's ridiculous that that's... I dropped that. That was crazy that that's the monsters I dropped. Well, Yugi, we knew one of us had to lose, but the good news is one of us got to win, too. Congratulations, man. Here, take my Glory of the King's hand card. Show it to Pegasus as Flunky Cro Croquet, and he'll give you three million bucks in prize money. No, Joey, you keep it. Your sister needs that money. Yugi... I didn't enter this tournament to get rich, Joey. I'm just here to save my grandpa and the Kyber brothers. Please use this money for Serenity's operation. When I lost the duel, I lost all hope for saving my sister. But now, Yugi, thank you. Now go and take down Pegasus. So the match of the millennium unlocked. Best of friends, best of duels reverse. Classic fusion deck recipe. Black Skull Dragon. Kunai with Chain. Asaki, the legendary swordsman. And a decent amount of victory duel points. Alrighty guys, so that's going to do it for this episode. In the next one we will be doing the match of the millennium. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you all then. Peace out.